flight should be we're expecting a crowd obviously there's a bit of hit and miss about the weather i think it might rain at about 11 12 sort of thing but then some other forecast another website i was looking at was saying a bit of drizzle between two and three or something so as long as it's not lashing down it'll be all right and the crowd will be outside and stuff and i know a lot of people going there today and you know yourself you get a big crowd i've actually never been up here on a monday before and i'm there for, for national day so He took a 35 quid bet, 11 to 1, that we didn't even lay. <laughs> and now he's fucking giving me parking tickets as well. See you later. Okay. We'll see you up there. Okay, now drive in. Go free. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, knock half an hour off. <laughs> I'm just going to swing past the Bank of Ireland if that's alright. Just uh, an extra two grand just to be sure. It's an awkward one, right? Because you obviously don't want to be carrying much money with you as well. And then we tend not to travel back with the money as well. We just give it to someone else. Um, so, like, if there's anything, if there's anything over, say, three or four grand, I'd be happy giving someone a bit of cash and offering them a bit of check as well, just so we're not carrying money. But sometimes, obviously, if you're paying in cash, some lads want cash as well. So you kind of kind of working it out with the if you need to I've actually had to lend money once or twice off other bookies because I've been short because I'm just trying not carry loads of, loads of cash but then obviously you're trying to lay a bet as well so it's uh yeah it's a bit of a balancing act really if people take check off you it's handy or a bit of check off you but you can understand why they want cash as well so like we don't hedge the bets we lay but sometimes just based on cash flow so if we're not carrying loads of cash and we want to lay a ladder bet, we'll sometimes lay a bet and then just try and get rid of it. Not not because we want to get rid of it, but just because we might not be carrying 100% cash to, to pay it out, basically. Yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, it does, yeah, we just gotta dump the stuff and then get in and out. As long as the, as long as the car's outside, it's grand. Alright, alright, bye, bye, bye. Slow as fuck, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
How are you? Yeah, staff car park again. How are you I getting on? I bet you is. I can't wait to go in there. We're buzzing, but not where I'd rather be at bloody nine o'clock in the morning or whatever time it is, you know? Yeah. Was, did, did, were you here when it was trouble yesterday? No, what happened? Was it? Messed all the, messed all, messed, messed all the drama. Have a good one. Good luck. How are you? And then I start going like this and I start like moving away. Fucking like the boys do the heavy lift. What rate is often for one bed pain? There you go. What rate the often for one bed pain? <laughs> you ever got a bed for bed pain? You get one? No. No. It's kind of a piss take, to be honest with you. It's my favourite. Yeah. I'd say it's illegal as well to take it. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I don't know if we could actually take it. We'll stick to fucking Revolu anyway. <laughs> You know, them little, you know those speed signs when it says slow down, it tells Dave to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> come on, lads, hurry up. Might do that. Do you want to have a look up here and see what the crack is? Any idea where, where the two pitches can be? We're trying to work it out. Okay. Uh, down there, you're a bit hidden. Probably, there's people going to be sat here, isn't there? That's the buffet. Okay. Uh, that area there beside the tote. Like that table, this whole area is going to be free now. Okay. So you can make your own mind up. Yeah. You, you can have it here, get rid of that. You can have it here, get rid of that. Yeah. So I reckon we'll probably, I reckon we'll probably be here just because the that's too floor. dark, it's, that's a bit too far away. Yeah, yeah. the floor people going. Yeah, so you're going that you, way as well. Yeah, right? everybody's coming in and out here. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's going out to there, they're coming in and out this way, that's the toilet. Yeah. So you can have all this space. Grand job. No worries, we'll no be worries. back anyway. No all right, okay. thanks, no Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're set up now. It's probably having lunch or something. <laughs> Not as young as I used to be. I went the wrong way. Up the top, let's climb over a fucking fence. I'm bollocks. <laughs> Check one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, good. That's the best thing to do because I thought I'd be in the hind so. so. I'm going to stand over there. Dave's going to stand here. We have to strain it up, aren't we, though? Yeah. Yeah, we can. I'm just, I'm just thinking about them sitting there. Yeah, don't mind it. Uh, like, hang on a sec. I'd be pushing back as far as we can. Oh, wow. Move it your side a little bit. Just move it up that way so it's straight. Just need the laptop down. Because I'm supposed to get around half a level. Well, of course, it gets sort of the half of it. Oh, the price on the board tonight could be. What? You get the prices on the board tonight. I'm just going to 
Yeah, I think it's I think it's doable. Like you're obviously trying to avoid you're obviously trying to avoid laying winners essentially, but uh nah, it looks like the shape of the races and everything looks good for us, I think so. We'll be confident now. We're going into it confident, like Saturday was poor for us. It's poor turnover as well to be honest with you. Yesterday we were probably a small bit unlucky. Mount Leinster I think probably would have got beat if the other one would have stood up. We held that for a few quid. Um, but like the shape of the races today, I'd be quite happy with it to be honest with you. Like if uh, it's this kind of kind of races that I like to attack as a bookmaker, and uh, yeah, happy enough, man. To be honest with you. One more, Fred. Fourteen. Yeah. Enjoy the land. Fourteen. Hold on, hold on. Enjoy the sixteen. Mm, marginal. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'd probably add it. Yeah. Ronald Pump 16. No. Dial Kerr 16. Say again? Dial Kerr 16. Uh, yeah. Schoolboy Arrow well, 16. Hold on, I'm in it. Bad, 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 bad. Second. Uh, no. Four. the second last and it's Ikara Lynn the leader from in on Tendo at two out Ikara Lynn and in on Tendo there's pressures in between them and it's Emmerich Desai and Jack Kennedy drawing on from in on Tendo Emmerich Desai wins the Delahue Marquis Juvenile not too bad for it. Four tired and running down those stairs. Any money for that? So I was actually a few quid, yeah. I was a loser on the books. Loser on the books. Decent loser. Number two was six. But it's good, you have to give the customers a few quid back. Keep them happy. Keep them all wanting to come again. What's the business like up here? It's a bit quiet up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's taking the Gaelic up here, so we have taken all the like, uh, lads downstairs says they're flat out like so. Okay, keep plumbing along. None of the best dressed ladies up here as well, though, it's just good, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> 
always keeps me happy. <laughs> I can't say it on camera. Casey sees it. For more law, did you get a winner? I think it's that. Which way win? David, what's back for this lovely young lady? 40 euro. Right now on the You're back in the game now. Back in the game. Let's go mad now. Come on. Connor step. Easy, isn't it? Easy. The drinks are on Connor. <laughs> Come on, sir, step right in. Number 11. Number 11. How much would you like? 100 win. Yeah. Yeah. 100 win. 100 win 11. 40 quid. 40 quid. Pretty soon I'm going to be working for you. Yeah. <laughs> what would you have me do for you? I uh, know, yeah. I had to look at the book now, of course. Oh! It's fun. It's fun. It's Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Could have been worse to be honest with you. Five was a skinner for us. The second would have been a good result. Five hundred and three on two. Five hundred and three tenner. Five hundred and three two. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, ten is The McConnell horse would have been a good result. Um, winner was a small loser, basically. We had worse horses each way. Five would have been a skinner, so happy enough to be honest with you. Small losing race, lost about 800. over Santa Rosa and it's Durazzo at the final flight and jumped it well from Santa Rosa in third is Grant. It's going really good to be honest here. The results have really fallen for us. Uh, on paper the last race probably would have looked probably would have looked great. I think five beat second five but we kind of kept them both on side and led the rest to be honest with you so just a bit lucky. Um, all the results have gone our way as well so it's, uh, we're full of confidence anyway going into the national so we see how we go anyway but all good.
a nice looking boat there, giving us a national with the amount of runners and the, the shape of the race. And we lost three and a half grand on the race. So, so we were going to go FXPs later, but we might, uh, I don't think they'll just take a start or order off us. But, uh, Like we were in good and uh, just no good, so fuck it. Yes, lads, winner each way on the foot over the bench. Come on, folks. Before it gets I can't wait to have my dinner after. Because the Burger King is a steak, though. <laughs> Come on, folks. Not a bad day. Good turnover. Good crowd. Good crowd. Plenty of sunshine. Results not great, but can't win every day. Chance to pull it back here. Uh, yeah, definitely. To be honest, yeah. Fucking. Also, the crowd has spinning in it all, but there's good turnover here again in this race. This is probably. This isn't far off the national already. Well, there's only a minute to go on here, but. Uh, like, uh, there's good turnover again on this race, so crowd getting involved and give us a chance for a love of cars. Yeah, all good. Can't go wrong, really. It's all good. What's a good result? Uh, I think the bogey is number six. Uh, the full name of it has been cut off in my mind, I'm not sure. The front two again, five second, five of the bogeys. 45 there, please. Uh, just the usual shape of a race again. Outsiders are good for us by the absolute rag at 40s. Uh, anything but the five, second five and the rag anywhere in the middle will be happy. Yeah, now the first race was grand for us, the, the novice handicap hurdle. Ideal pal, 16 to 1 winner, it was grand, barely bet. One of the first bets we laid was on it, but uh, there's plenty of others betting the race and it was a good result for us. Um, odds on shot beating the next in the juvenile hurdle, Iker Allen. Um, they're always winners in the book, like I said, with the shape of the race. The, the winner at 12 is 
was actually one of the better, it was a loser, but it was one of the better ones each way. Um, there was a couple of other each way bogeys in the race, but they would have cost us three or four grand, so I think that ended up costing us four or five hundred quid. So we to, when, the, when the fab was beat, we would have taken it anyway. Uh, handicap hurdle, 315. Uh, Capilano Bridge was a good result. Um, we were flying at that stage. That was 12s beats 25s beats 50s beats 20s. Like that was can't do any more than that. That was absolutely perfect for us, and we won a few quid on that race. Uh, the 350 again was looking. You look at the result. You see seven to uh, seven to two Durasso uh, beating Santa Rosa three to one. You think it would be a bad result, but we ended up laying up plenty of others in the race as well. So it was a. Uh, I think it was a winning race for us from memory. Um, happy out. Then uh, it started to go wrong. We were full of confidence and it started to go wrong uh, in the grade two. Easy game. I think the five fell, the second five fell. Uh, they were both decent results for us, believe it or not. Again, the crowd betting outsiders. Easy game was the worst result in the book. One nothing you can do really um, look like he actually still looked like we were going to get a result uh, two out and uh, um, still Emery ended up finishing second uh, so ah, nothing you can do Irish Grand National <laughs> looks a great result on paper Lord Lariat we've laid we laid a lad 100 each way at 50s and then on the off another lad has had I think he had 75 win or something at 40s or something like that um, just basically took the book the places were fine for us the second frontal assault the fourth screaming colours um, and then the five they don't really bet each way to be honest with you so the places were great for us because we've laid chunky, chunky enough considering the average bet here um, it's been a losing race for us. Uh, and then the last two races were good. Um, Deffy Blue, um, 20 to 1, was a good result. Barely laid a bet on it, Skinner for the book. Um, and then even in the bumper, the Fabs won the bumper. But I think just because quite a lot of the crowd would have been behind with a few of the outsiders winning, we ended up laying like five or six horses to win about 10 grand. And they were all outsiders basically. And uh, so the result uh, was grand for us, even the places were grand. So listen, it's been a bit up and down. The uh, Irish National. Ferrius has one big day's race in a year uh, and it's today and you're hoping to get a result as a bookmaker in the Irish National. I think plenty of bookmakers here would have, we didn't. We've still won on the day, we're happy enough. It could have been better and it's uh, it's been the story of our story of our existence on course at the minute. It's going grand and it, it could be better and I think it'll I think it'll turn anyway, so happy out. It's been logistically been a good day as well, so and the sun's out, it's grand, so all good.